Hello friends, this is Zoli here. Today, we are going to see how to implement CRC with the help of C++. So, let's first, before going into our code, first let's see how does the CRC work. What we do is, first we take a data word from the user. The data word can be of any size. In this example, the size is 8. After getting a data word, we then take the divisor. The divisor also can be of any size. Then, we take the size of the divisor and, the min and we minus it with 1. We, the amount of the size we get, we just add that much amount of zeros to the data word. So we get a dividend. In this example, the size of the divisor is 4. So we add that much uh, 3 zeros to the uh, data word. Then we form a dividend. After getting a dividend, we just do a simple division out there. What we do is, we take the divisor which is of 4 bit. We take that much amount of bits down. As you can see, 4 bits is taken down, 1001. Then we exhort it with the divisor. The answer we get is 4 zeros. Depending upon the size of the zeros, if we get 2 zeros, we move 2 bits uh, to the right. If we get 4 zeros, we move 4 bits to the right. After moving 4 bits, we again take uh, 4 bits down, 1101. Then we again do XOR with the divisor. We continue doing this procedure till uh, all the till last that is the remainder size uh, gets less than that of the divisor there here the remainder size is 3 now we have got a whole crc generated code which is the data word with the remainder appended to it now we will ask the user to input a new word which will be the size of the dividend the new word will again goes through this whole procedure that is the divisor will divide it uh, if the remainder comes to zero we say that there is no error but if the remainder is not zero there will be an error let's look at the code here first what we do is we just declaring all the variable arrays out here then inside the constructor we are initializing all the variables and array the minus one value so that the error is not generated while we are incrementing our array. First, we will take the size of the data word. We are storing it in the msize variable here. After, then we are taking that much data from the user. After taking the data word, we then take the size of the divisor. The size of the divisor is stored in the variable d size. Then we are taking that much input from the user as well. Then we are displaying the message. This is just for our uh, verification that our code is right. Till now it is working. Then, then what we do is we need to append that much amount of zero uh, of the size divisor minus one. So what we do is we run the for loop from uh, the data uh, from the data word size, which is m size. In this example, as you can see, the data word size is 8. So we'll run the loop from 8 till m size plus d size. m size plus d size, m size is 8, and the d size is the divisor size, which is 4 in this example here. So minus 1 means 8 plus 4 minus 1, which is 11. So we will run the loop from 8 to 11. 8 to 11. That is, we are storing that much amount of 0 at the end. So we are just appending uh, that much amount of zero at the end. After doing this, we are storing a new variable m size, which is of size in this example that is 11. Yeah. After doing it, we are displaying the message, the new message, which with uh, that is the dividend, the data word plus the size append the zeros out there. Then what we are doing is we are storing it in the r size variable new array, which is r size sorry not r size which is r s r e s after doing it what we are doing is xor operation in this example we are doing xor operation with the four uh, bits that is that of the divisor so what we are doing is we are running the for loop till the divisor size of the divisor which is four in the example out there so we are storing it into the rest and we are uh, just uh, putting a variable n which is just used uh, as I already told you we just stop our uh, procedure here when the size of the remainder is less than the size of the divisor so 
n is just for uh, running a while loop here in this example out there uh, the rest is just used to store storing the first four bits into the rest one xor of the dividend divisor into rest one then we are running the while loop till our remainder size is less than that of the divisor size after we are uh, just taking a new variable flag 0 flag 0 is used because we are using this while loop here because we just need to know how much uh, the amount of zero has been produced in the rest if the, there are two zeros we will move uh, two bits to the right if there are four zeros we will move four bits to the right so we have just made a new variable m which tells that how much bit we need to move to the right just we are checking the answer res m if it is zero we will move we will increment our n if it is not we will just come out of the loop we will uh, just uh, this for loop is just used to check that our count is always the size of the divisor out here because if the size of the count is not same as that of the divisor that means uh, there is something error in our code because we need to always XOR the same number of bits with the same number of divisor out here so this the count is just used to check if our answer till now is correct our code till now is working right after what we do is we will run the for loop I have told you I have used a variable m to check how much number of zeros out there. If there are four zeros, we will just move four bit to the right. In this example, we are the value of m will be four. Then what we will do is we will run the for loop from four till d size is the size of the divisor. The four, which is in the example, which is four. So four plus four is eight. So the for loop will run from four to eight. That means we are running the for loop only to take 4 bits so that we can explore it with the divisor which is the size of 4 bits. So we are running the loop till 4 to 8 then we are exploring it res1 which is in this example this bit into the res array with index 4, 5, 6 and 7. After that it will again run till uh, in the while loop till our remainder size is less than that of the divisor size. See, the variable k is used uh, so that uh, the divisor should always start from zero, uh, index start from 0, 1, 2, 3. So, we are again initializing it to k to 0. First, the k value will be 0, then 1, 2, 3, 4. What you do is the rest, in this example, the rest. 4, 5, 6, 7 will XOR it with our index size 0, 1, 2, 3. So that's why we are taking a variable k out here. After then, the while loop will run till the divisor size is greater than that of the remainder size. We are just incrementing the size of n, which is the size of remainder, with 1 so that uh, the user can check if this, the code is right or wrong then we are creating a new variable r size which take the size of whole data word plus the divisor then we will run the for loop from 1 to the dev divisor size this is used to add the remainder to the data word then we are displaying the message that the crc that is generated after we will find the remainder by using the for loop by uh, taking the last elements from the array res and running the for loop from uh, 0 to a particular device size. After getting the remainder, now our whole CRC generator code is done. Now for checking the uh, user input data word, first we do is we take the data word which is of size dividend. We will continue the whole procedure same code again but in this we are not appending 0 because we are uh, in this we are not appending 0 because we are taking uh, the whole dividend size. We, we will again do the whole division process. After that we will check the remainder. If the remainder is 0 we say that there is no error in our code. And if the remainder is 1 we say that there is error in our code. So let's run the code and see.
we will take the same example out here which is 10011101 so we will take 8 bits out here 10011101 one okay the size of the device here, which is four one zero zero one so four one zero zero one now you can see the crc code that is generated remainder is one zero zero so let's check what is the remainder yeah the remainder is one zero zero the crc code that is generated is one zero zero one 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 zero zero one the last we are just adding the remainder to our data word then you can see we have appended that much amount of zero which is three because the size of device is four now let's check the receive see as you can see we are entering 11 bit of data because we need the size of whole dividend so we can type the same code out here one zero zero this code should not give any error because i am typing the same bit that has been transmitted so let's see see as you can see there is no error present in the receive code now just run the code with an error out here so just go to our code here again run the code we'll again take the same we, you can take different input making four here it, it will be 10011101 the device is four size and the device is 1001 okay 1001 now we will input an error code here 10 0 we will just put your 0 instead of 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 as you can see the message displays displaying that error is present in the receive code thank you for watching guys i have put the code in the description below if you like the video hit a like button and do subscribe